safeguarding reporting is designed to help monitor browsing and alert on activity which may present a risk to the user. Safeguarding is distinct to the traditional block and allow style of Guardian web filtering. Safeguarding helps a safeguarding lead or school counselor to be more alert to potential activity users are engaging in which could present a danger to them, such as self-harm or radicalization. This gives the safeguarding lead the opportunity to decide if there's a need to step in and protect the user. Safeguarding helps UK schools to meet safeguarding and prevent duty obligations, and the reports can be used as part of the Ofsted inspection. Safeguarding is located in Reports, Safeguarding, Full Report. There are seven rule sets that safeguarding can report against abuse, adult content, bullying, criminal activity, radicalization, substance abuse, and suicide. The rule sets encompass existing guardian categories. For example, radicalization includes the guardian category of terrorism and intolerance. You can choose the group to run the report against or run it against all groups. These groups will reflect the groups you define in Services, Authentication, Groups. See our video, Groups and Authentication Policies, The Who, for instructions on how to create a group. You can choose a date range of up to 31 days to report on. Click in the date range box and a date picker will appear. Select the start and end date, or choose from the quick links we've provided. The report will advise you if no data is available for the time period you've selected. When you have made your selection, click Run Report. Each category within a rule set has a severity level assigned to it, from advisory and caution to danger. The safeguarding full report is ordered by user breaches, first by level of breach severity, then by number of breaches. Clicking on an individual user shows all of the matching breaches within a period selected. Clicking on a breach expands the view to include all browsing history within an hour either side of the breach. This provides a context for a user's activities, helping you to determine if intent is present. Applying intelligent filters, we have cut out irrelevant data such as search suggestions, search results, and tracking sites to allow you to focus on the sites users have actually visited. You can choose to view this data on the full report by clicking the Hide Web Furniture toggle. Search terms are shown with a simple tag displaying the search engine that was used. Where possible, we will show you the title of the site or YouTube video highlighted. We recommend you have HTTPS Decrypt and Inspect enabled to give you the most detailed possible report view. You can print an individual user's breaches, or the entire report if you wish. This is an easy way to export the report to PDF. In the Print dialog, simply select Save as PDF to save your report in a PDF format. The System Administrator is able to set up alerts and notifications against a chosen rule set. It is important to set up your email or SMS service that you want the SmoothWall system to use in Reports, Settings, Output Settings. Navigating to Reports, Settings, Groups allows you to create a contact group that you want alerts and notifications to go to and save their contact details. To set up a new safeguarding notification or alert, navigate to Reports, Safeguarding, Notifications. Choose New Notification. Select the user group you want to report on or you can type the name of an individual user or users you want to focus on. You can choose a full daily report or a weekly or monthly summary report via email. There's also an option to set up instant alerts, which will notify designated people immediately by email or SMS of any danger level breaches that match the setup criteria.
Choose the safeguarding rule set that you want included in the report. You can choose from any email groups you have set up and click Save to activate the notification or alert. You can set up safeguarding in the user portal so that non-system administrators such as safeguarding leads can gain access directly to safeguarding reports. To set up a safeguarding portal, click on Services, Portals. Enter a logical name. In this case, we will use Safeguarding Officers. Scanning down to the selection for Safeguarding Full Report, click on the tick box to allow this in your new or chosen portal. Click Save. For a new portal, we need to add the users or groups we would like to have access. Here in Services, User Portal, User Access, we can add our safeguarding officer, Grace Hathaway, to the portal we have created. Now when this user navigates to the portal, she is able to select safeguarding in the top right of the screen. Safeguarding in the portal means that system administrators can enable staff such as the safeguarding officer to run reports themselves so that they are able to monitor without the need for technical assistance to view reports.